Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Jay the One Eye Gamer video. Today's video is going to be about the new Utoro Nobu game that was just announced a couple days ago. And man, is this kind of a mixed bag, I feel like, because the marketing made it feel like it was going to be a new mainline title like Mask of Truth and Mask of Deception and the remake that's coming over to the West. But in actuality, it turned out to be a smartphone game, which I don't think any of us even remotely thought was going to be possible or even thought that that was going to be an option. First initial reactions were not that great. I think a lot of us were a little disappointed and probably some of us felt super betrayed thinking like, is this going to be the future of the franchise because aqua plus you know didn't straight up say like this is just gonna you know support the home console franchise which they did tell us a couple days ago so it kind of turned out to be like the tales incident where the tales smartphone game that they announced like a year ago everyone thought that was going to be the new mainline tales game that they were talking about then and namco did come out and reassure us that they were working on a console mainline title and that's where we got tales of rise uh gamitsu actually had to sit down with the president of aqua plus himself naoya shimakawa i apologize if that name was not pronounced correctly at all but famitsu basically Basically sat down and asked him a couple questions and he did clarify that Lost Flag is essentially there to help support the home console releases for future Utoro Nomo titles because they kind of saw that it was a growing market in Japan, the cell phone games. They wanted to take advantage of that so as many people as possible could get a hold of the Utoro Nomo franchise themselves. And I kind of understand that it's kind of like uh, the Tales smartphone game that was announced a year ago and also falls in line with Fire Emblem Heroes. Both of those are supplementary titles to help, you know, support the brand and get people excited for maybe the new mainline entries in the those respective franchises. So I can definitely see how that would help Notoru Nomo considering it's a niche game. But uh, Shimokawa did state that there are multiple console projects in the work and I'm going to assume that the new Utoro Nomo saga or trilogy is probably going to be there. I don't know of any other IPs from Aqua Plus but it sounds like they have a lot of games in the work. So that's good to hear. And again the gaming ecosystem in Japan is completely different than it is here in the West. In the West we still like to buy our home consoles and play them off our you know our big 4k TVs. Whereas Japan the home console market is kind of essentially a shadow of its former self and mobile has kind of taken over there so it makes sense for them in their home country to want to do this so they can get as much exposure for the Utoro Nomo franchise as possible and I understand that. Am I happy with the decision? Uh, not particularly. I'm not a smartphone gamer myself. This could help Utoro Nomo itself because the games are really good with their characters and the storytelling and if you can properly translate that over into a smartphone game I feel like that'll definitely help because there are a lot of memorable and great characters in the franchise that you will be able to apparently recruit to help you so that gives more people a chance to look at these characters and this franchise that have never seen or heard of it so the potential is there and i really hope it does help i just personally would have wished that they talked about a new console game which i hope will be the start of a new trilogy or a new saga but i'll save that for another video that i want to talk about the next chapter of the uton armor franchise but essentially what i wanted to do with this video was just you know give my two cents and honestly yeah i'm a little disappointed we haven't really seen any gameplay for it so we don't know what it's going to be like i have a feeling it's going to be a mixture of both the gotcha mechanics and hopefully the precision timing attacks that uton armor was famous for if they can find a nice balance there the game might do well i feel like if this is done right this will definitely help push the franchise forward and hopefully in the next generation of consoles we'll see bigger sales numbers for the home console releases in japan and outside japan hopefully and i guess the last thing i want to say is do i think this game will come over to the west and eh, not anytime soon i don't think that's happening only because i don't see aqua plus really being able to bring the game over themselves to the west and as of the moment i think nis is their publishing partner in the west right now and considering that they're having trouble with their own smart game for the Disgaea franchise, which apparently almost bankrupted the company, I feel like they're not going to be wanting to do anything else if it's not their own flagship titles. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I want you all to have a great day. And remember, let's rock!